Subscribe to our channel and click on the bell icon for all the latest news and updates. Hello, you have logged into One India News YouTube channel and this is Mariam. In the aftermath of the murder of journalist Gauri Lankesh yesterday in Bangalore, many were quick to relate it to the killings of M.M. M. Kalburgi, Narendra Dabholkar and Govind Pansare. Karnataka Home Minister has directed the state police to get in touch with their counterparts in Maharashtra in a bid to crack the Gauri Lankesh murder case. When the CID took over the probe into the murder of Kalburgi, it had said that the murders are similar in nature. While it is not clear as of yet whether the murders were carried out by the same set of people, investigations showed that the motive remained the same. All three murder cases remain unsolved till date. The main finding in the Kalburgi murder case remains the recovery of a weapon. The CID said that a 7.65 mm pistol was used to kill Kalburgi. Further, it was also found that it was the same weapon that was used to kill Pansare at Kolhapur on February 16, 2015. Further, forensic analysis also suggested that one of the two guns used to shoot down Pansare in 2015 was used to kill Dabholkar at Pune on August 20, 2013. As of now, the motive behind the murder of Gauri Lankesh is unclear. The police say that while there appear to be quite a lot of similarities, it would be too early to pass any judgment. That's all for now. For more news and interesting stories, please subscribe to One India News YouTube channel.